Hi, my name is Jennifer Eberhardt, and I'm the author of Biased, Uncovering the Hidden Prejudice that Shapes What We See, Think, and Do. In my career as a social psychologist and professor of psychology at Stanford University, I've dedicated myself to researching and teaching about implicit bias, what it is, where it comes from, how it affects us, and how we can address it. Implicit bias is not a new way of calling someone a racist. In fact, you don't have to be a racist at all to be influenced by it. As I'll explain in depth later, implicit bias is a kind of distorting lens that's a product of both the architecture of our brains and the disparities in our society. Our ideas about race are shaped by the stereotypes to which we are exposed on a daily basis. And one of the strongest stereotypes in American society associates blacks with criminality. Here's where I would normally break out the graphs and slides, but instead, I'm gonna tell you a personal story. A few years ago, I took my son Everett on a plane. He was five years old, wide-eyed and trying to take it all in. So he's looking around on the plane and he saw a black passenger and then said, hey, that guy looks like daddy. Now I look at the man and he doesn't look anything at all like daddy. He looks nothing like his father. I couldn't help but be struck by the irony. The race researcher having to explain to her own black child that not all black people look alike. Just as I was about to begin lecturing my son, he looked up at me and he says, I hope he doesn't rob the plane. Why would you say that, I asked, as gently as I could, though I was on the brink of being upset. You know daddy wouldn't rob a plane. Yes, yes, I know. Well, why would you say that? Everett looked up at me with a sad face. He says, I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I was thinking that. Even with no malice, this Black Crime Association made its way into the mind of my five-year-old child, just as it has made its way into all of us. I wrote this book to show the many surprising places and ways that implicit bias affects all sorts of decisions we make during the normal course of our lives the homes we buy, the people we hire, the way we treat our neighbors. People can hold biases based on all sorts of characteristics. Skin color, age, weight, ethnic origin, accent, disability, height, gender. But neither our evolutionary path nor our present culture dooms us to be held hostage by these biases. Change requires a kind of open-minded attention that is well within our reach. There are successful approaches we can learn from and new ways of thinking we can build upon. In this series of videos, I'm going to take you on a journey I have taken to share the unexpected findings I have uncovered, the stories I have heard, the struggles I have encountered, and the triumphs that have inspired me.